Hi, I'm Peter Birch and welcome to my channel. I tell you what, is everyone going stir crazy sitting at home wondering what they can do to try and break the boredom? Well today guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the bush and have a look around and see if we can find some cool stuff. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome guys. Make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification button to continue to join the adventure. Because today guys, we're going to hit the bush. Welcome to Critter Cam. Alright, so let's break the boredom and in fact, let's just get out and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy nature as it should be. Now when I say I live in the rainforest, I mean I live in the rainforest. The rainforest backs right up against my house and my reptile breeding facility. So it's no wonder that I can just easily, at a drop of a hat, just get out, enjoy nature and relax. I mean, how spoiled am I? I really think I am so lucky. Now. Getting out on these cooler mornings in early winter, you never know what you're going to find. In fact, I've been blessed many times before finding diamond pythons and all sorts of cool stuff. You just never know what we're going to find. <clears throat> and some of the cool stuff that we can find is something like this. This. This is a cabbage palm. Now, the cabbage palm is an absolute amazing palm tree. It's one of our native palms here. Now, some of the cool facts is some of the materials that come off the cabbage palm like this. The uh, local indigenous people used to be able to weave these into uh, baskets and all sorts of cool things for transporting food and obviously they were not very materialistic but moving food around which is pretty cool. Some of the uh, wicked things about this particular palm oh, is right here. Look at those barbs. That's right, so they would actually use this as a, uh, a tool, you could use this as a fighting tool. Um, imagine having those things bashed onto the back of your head and breaking off, not very pleasant at all. Now, one of the awesome things about being in this part of the rainforest in particular, is we've got two types of native palms, and here's the second one. It's called the Bangalow palm absolute gorgeous palm I mean so lucky to have these two particular palms living side by side in the same area we're right here on the top of the ravine it drops off into the creek area um, it goes up the back here so we're gonna go up the back here there's a really nice rock outcrop up the back here and like I say you've always just got to keep your eyes open you never know if you're gonna see something uh, particularly a lot of times probably nine times out of ten you see nothing but the bush itself because the animals are so in tune with the natural environments that they just disappear absolutely disappear now I was fortunate enough to buy eight acres of this magnificent rainforest back in 1997 and um, basically not much of it's changed I cleared a little bit of area to build my house build my shed and um, basically that's it I left the rest alone so, you know, we get wallabies here. We're very lucky to get a couple of uh, swamp wallabies, a couple of kidnas. The local wombat moves around, which is pretty awesome. And we get a lot of possums. Now, look at that. That is a pretty awesome rock outcrop right there. It goes right across here, this nice big rock face. Absolute gorgeous thing. We'll have a quick look around here. Sometimes, if you're lucky, some of these little rock crevices you find um, leaf tail geckos uh, but nine times out of ten like I say you get skunked and we'll probably end up finding a lot more spiders I mean at the end of the day how could you not enjoy nature and fall in love with all the cool stuff around us Look at the size of these vines. These vines are absolutely amazing. So these vines here are the ones that I harvested for my rough scale cage, if you've seen that earlier. Absolutely amazing. This is a chunk of a vine. And it goes all the way up to the top of these turpentines. So the turpentines grow quick in a lot of rainfall so we have a lot of rainfall here 1.8 to 2.1 meters annually every year 
that's a lot of water. So that's me and above me every year of water falling down in this whole area, this catchment area, causing these turpentines to grow really rapidly and really tall. Look at this. And as you can see there, for most parts of it, they're pretty straight. That's the reason why the turpentines are highly sought after for building wharfs. They grow in wet conditions um, when the trees are harvested. The particular timber doesn't rot out very quickly in the wet conditions because it's used to that. And um, that's the reason why they're highly prized to be building wharfs. It looks like we've had a couple of branches come down in a few of the latest storms. So we're just gonna make our way through here the best we can. And uh, once we get up to the top here, this whole environment opens up a bit and it comes a little bit more open and drier. So uh, we might be on the money to find something besides spider webs, thorns, barbs, branches. Oh, looks like there's a few branches that have come down. Look at this. Looks like a, sometimes you hear big noises in the middle of the night when the wind's blowing and you're not really sure what's going on. But uh, look at that. Hey, the gum trees. Even the gum trees fall foul to white ants or termites. And um, looks like there's been quite a few big fellas here laying down. The good thing for us is they've laid down up the hill and not down the hill because if we can look oh, a bit more this way, my house is just through that clearing there. So um, it's a little bit crazy. But look at this. This is, this is what it's all about, guys. Right there, that's scat, fresh scat, look at that. So what is scat? Scat is poop, poop guys. So when we find scat, you can realize that there's certain animals living in these environments and uh, helps you to keep your eyes open. Now that particular scat would be from the swamp wallaby We've got one that hangs around here on a regular basis. Um, he just chills out, hangs around, does his own thing. But um, you never know, you know? That's the beauty of living here. You just never know. Now look how wicked these things are. These are the cabbage palms when they're much younger. There's a lot of horrible, evil barbs on there. And um, they really like to catch you. Catch you and cut you up a little bit more so than most so we're gonna have to um, try to make our way around here a little bit so like I said there's a few trees that have come down we'll try and tr take the path of least resistance to get where we want to go this is a crazy part of it now bush bashing in your own backyard. How awesome is this, eh? How awesome. And that's one of the reasons why I wear long pants. Because even the lantana, a non-indigenous horrible plant that goes crazy here. Just out of control. So um, it's best just to Push your way through that and um, make your way out and around. So, my neighbor's block is just behind me up there. It's where my neighbor lives, which is um, pretty damn amazing, I guess. Oh, gonna go through here and. Uh, Never know. And, um, uh, 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 easy fella, easy. Oh my goodness. 
Holy crap, guys, look at this. Now, if you're not familiar with this particular snake, this is a yellow face whip snake. It's one of our many small front fanged venomous snakes. Quite quick, agile creatures. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Not, not um, particularly bad nature, they've got a pretty good nature. So, uh, that beautiful marking on his face and these lovely colours. We'll um, take him out into the sunlight a bit. So we can see some of these beautiful colours. Look at that. What a gorgeous, what a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Now, uh, these guys, I mean, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I've lived here for nearly 20 odd years now and I've never, ever caught one of these here. I mean, this guy must be lost. It's just not natural for him to be here. It's, it's crazy. But look at that. He's right there in my hands. He's right there. He does exist. It's like the unicorn, the rare unicorn. Absolutely amazing. Oh. I'm going to uh, switch the camera around so I can get some good footage of him and then uh, we're going to let him go. Hang on. Now these little beauties have a huge distribution. Uh, they're an egg laying species, which is absolutely amazing. Fast moving like lightning fast and um, prefer to eat things like lizards and frogs. Absolutely amazing animals. And like I said, they're lightning fast. So to catch him off guard early this morning was a pretty cool thing. Uh, absolutely cool. Uh, let's let him go and film him on his way. Let's see how long this lasts. Wow, don't know about you guys, but that just made this whole adventure all worth it. That one snake, snake I haven't seen on my property in over 20 years. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't help to think that no matter how much we know or how much we see, we're still able to learn so much more and see so much more. And like I said to you before, I am so lucky to have this in my backyard it's absolutely amazing but why wouldn't you get out and enjoy nature guys the virus is absolutely crazy it's driving everyone stir crazy if you can get out and go for a five ten minute walk in nature and just look and observe and enjoy the plants and the trees and help unwind guys that's going to help you so much better to work out what we're doing with this horrible virus that's flying around well i hope you guys enjoyed today's show Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big like. I hope you guys enjoyed, and get out, enjoy nature. Thanks for watching Critter Cam.